Hello, good evening, everybody. So welcome back to the class. This is, well, the night number let number four. Okay. So uh, it means that we have uh, 16 classes left. No quedan 16 classes y pues van a pasar bastante rápido. So uh, welcome, everybody. Here we have, let's see. Good evening, Elisa. Good evening, teacher. How was your day? I am fine. What's fine? Been. Okay, okay, fine. that's perfect. That's perfect. Let's listen to um. Okay, Luis. Hello, Luis. Hello, teacher. Good evening. How was your day? Very good, teacher. Very good. Okay, that's nice. I'm looking for some other vocabulary for you. Okay, Carla, hello, Carla, good evening. Hello, teacher. How are you tonight? Good. Good, okay, that's nice. Uh, let me show you to everyone. Uh, to, tonight's topic is simple present negative statements. So good evening to everybody. Buenas noches a todos. We start now. This is the class number four, class four, 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 okay? Uh, beginners two. And we're going to start with this simple, okay. Simple present negative statements. Algunas oraciones en negativo que vamos a comenzar a ver ahora. But before going to this topic, to a specific topic, uh, we have two speaking activities, right? So the first one is um, related to the enterprises or how businesses are different. La primera actividad eh, está relacionada pues a eso, ¿verdad? A cómo, a qué tan diferentes son las empresas, los negocios, in comparison to, to, the, well, to the past decades. So how are businesses today different from 50 years ago? Imagine 50 years ago, there were very different. Okay, related to the, uh, well, to many, many characteristics, okay? So do we have volunteers for this first speaking activity? Okay, let's see, I'm waiting because sometimes I, I want to, or I like you to, to ask about it. But in this case, Carito, good evening. Hello, good evening, teacher, how are you? Well, I'm... <laughs> I'm terrific. Cuando digo terrific, me refiero a bien. Excellent. Yes. So people think that terrific is terrible, but no. Terrible is terrible. Terrible, but terrific is nice. Okay. So that, that's okay. how I feel. What about you? Fine. You're fine. Okay. That's nice. Yes. Okay. Tell me, what do you think about this? <clears throat> okay. I write three sentences. Uh, the first one is now there are more technologies. Uh, yep. Number two, the salaries, I don't know if it's okay, the work salaries or? Salaries, is, yes. yes, it's okay. Are not good for the uh, level life, para el nivel de vida yes, actual. Yes. Okay. And now the laboral environment are very toxic and stressful. Yep. Okay. Yes, uh, the laboral environment. Yes, it's kind of complicated, but a lot. Okay. Toxic, toxic, toxic. Yes, it's very like, a lot of toxicity in the environment. And for example, to have a boss and your your partner, your colleagues, and uh, they are fighting for for being like the best, but uh, like playing in a dirt way, playing. Uh, let me see. Jugando sucio, okay? They play dirt, okay? There are bad comments, there are gossips, I cheese Oh, there are a lot of things, right? Uh, uh, not only this, in a laboral environment. Okay, okay, thank you, Carito. Okay, Very thank nice. you. You're welcome. Okay, Elisa. And then Mardoqueo, if he's ready. Okay, Elisa, tell me. Okay. Procedure, could they wear manual? No mechanized and did not have technology. Yes, like almost everything was manual, okay? 
the technology was very, but very different in comparison to now, right? That's it. Thank you, Lisi. Very nice. Okay, uh, what about Mardo? Thank you. You're welcome. Technology has made work easier. Yes, yes, that's for sure. Easier. Esta palabra es importante. Más fácil. Yes. Technology uh, has a lot of good, good characteristics. And one of, of those characteristics is that, uh, well, it is like easier. Es más fácil. Yep, that, that's true. Okay, thank you. What about Carlita? Okay, nice. Carla, are you ready? Okay. That business from 15 years ago don't have good the technology that now we have and also with the social network make a big import import impact impact in, yes. impact in the business advertises yep. advertises mm -hmm. yes or the difference is that before it was too necessary that they employees employees okay. employees to add in employees perdon mm -hmm, no problem. to to attend at the place and nowadays we can work at home office. Yes, okay. If you notice, I'm taking some words that you are mentioning. Eh, tomo algunas de las palabras que ustedes están mencionando because I consider that they are very important. Okay, so yes, the social media is, is uh, well, has been, um, has been giving us like a lot of tools, muchas herramientas, okay? Nowadays, nowadays, ahora en día, as Car Carlita says, nowadays, we have social media, okay? Imagine the mail, el correo. The mail before, there were some people taking cards, okay? They're taking letters, but now we have email, easy, right? Very easy. It's just one example, because I know that you have some other. Thank you, Carlita, good. Okay. Okay, what about Luis and then Carlos? Okay, Luis, good evening. Okay, teacher, good evening. Uh, different uh, fears in this technology uh, replace the men for matching. Uh, yes. Las empresas re re reemplazan al ser humano por las máquinas. Yes, replace humans mm -hmm. and we use machines. Machines, machines. Perfect. And one example is, for example, eh, we can use the, the same mail, el mismo correo, okay? Now we have computers, okay? It is not necessary that a person takes cards, no necessary que una persona lleve las cartas, okay? So, thank you, Luis. And Carlos, what about you? Are you ready? And then, Stefan. The company of five, uh, 50, 50. Okay, thank you. 60 years uh, ago, are it not money and the chain did not follow, follow the, the environment? Okay, yes. Pollution, polluted. Si no está tan contaminado, yes. Now we have advances, but also we have, well, we have positive aspects and negative aspects as well. So in comparison, now the enterprises or the factories uh, produces, uh, well, they produce more pollution, producing más contaminación. And not only yes. the factories, right? Not only the, the enterprises, we, we as human beings, right? Okay, so thank you guys. Very nice, very good opinion. And uh, now what if we listen to Stephanie and then Rosa, please. Before there was not as much technology. 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 Yeah. One example is that we have WhatsApp groups. Okay. So in WhatsApp group, you can send information. Maybe it is not so formal, right? No es tan formal, but it is useful. Pero se usa bastante. So thank you, Stephanie. Okay, Rosa, what about you? 
and then we go with Jackie. Jackie. Hi, teacher. And oh. The business today are, are technology, many business, are innovation in different areas. For example, the internet and not using paper. That's another example, right? Now, <laughs> well, we yes, we use paper, but not in the same quantity in comparison to the past. Okay. Thank you, Rosa. Very nice. Uh, good example. Okay, what about Jackie and then Kenya? Okay, good night. Uh, yes. 50 years ago, it was still common to maintain an internal mail line to carry correspondence between plants uh, but now there is electronic mail yeah. to it, it keep men and women completely isolate from its other okay yes isolated aislados yes before maybe we were kind of isolated in different areas on, on in the factory, in the enterprise, in the business. Okay, now we are more connected by the WhatsApp uh, groups, by mails, as Jackie is uh, explaining. Yeah, that's for sure. Thank you. Isolated, aislados. Okay, good. Um, let's see, Kenya, right? Kenya, and then we go with Gabriel. This Kenya. In new machinery and technology. Okay, could you repeat again, please, Kenny? I'm sorry. Okay. In new machinery and technology. Okay, yes, we have different types of machines. For example, the camera. Do you remember? Okay. The camera. Sí. Más que todo eh, con lo que dijo el compañero de que antes había más personal en una maquinaria y hoy eh, en las maquinarias como son de nueva tecnología ya se ocupa solo un personal. Yes, uh, for, for example, we have the cameraman, el camarógrafo, the cameraman, mm -hmm. well, there is a meme, hay un meme sobre eso, that it says that you have to be updated because that person in 10 years lost uh, his job. Quiere decir que deben de estar actualizados porque esta persona en 10 años perdió tra el trabajo. For example, the cameraman uh, riding a helicopter para uh -huh. hacer las tomas aéreas. Aéreas. Okay. Yes, subía al helicóptero, okay? On the helicopter, he was like taking uh, videos, okay? Or photographs. And now we have drones. Easily. Oh, yeah. Uh -huh. yeah, we have drones easily. So there were like more people um, doing the job and now uh, the we have mm, what less people tenemos menos personas okay more mm -hmm. is mass less is menos so we have less people doing some jobs but in some cases we have machinery or machines okay, okay. okay. good Thank point you. anytime gabriel please uh, good night teacher uh, our business is today different it is different today. There is technology. All women have more opportunity uh, employer. Okay. Uh, women have more opportunities, but maybe they don't have the same conditions, right? I consider that there are a lot of things to do, but, but yeah, now we can see, well, in 50 years we have we can see women in different positions, right? In jobs, in politics, and it is good. That is good, right? Es bueno ver mujeres en diferentes posiciones laborales en el tema y en lo que sea, right? I consider that that's positive, right? Okay, so thank you, Gabriel. Yes, it is quite okay. different. Imagine 50 years ago to have like a, a woman as a president, it was kind of weird or strange se veía como raro extraño but now no now we have like a different view and that's really good 
Okay, so thank you. I'm going to check uh, the attendance list. Please say hi, hello. Uh, I am here, I'm alive, I'm breathing. Digan si están respirando. Okay, I'm going to check. Uh, Andres Joel Sony. Oh, are you there? Andres, I saw you. Very active. If not, I'm going to ask later. Carlos. Evening, Carlos. Okay. I guess they are not ready. Carito. Present teacher. Thank you, Carito. Edwin. Present teacher. Ah, Elisa. Hello, present. Okay, good. Nice. Elisa. Present teacher. Perfect. Ready. Not ready. Okay, Gabriel. Present teacher. Good. Jackie. Present. Good. Um, Alicia. Okay. No, en realidad no. Okay, Gabriel. Micrófono siempre. Okay, Joana. Ah, no, Joana is not here. Carla. Hello, Carlito. Present. Eugenia. Present, teacher. Nice. Luis. Present. Good. Mardoqueo. Present, teacher. Perfect. Oscar. Are you there, Oscar? No. Okay. Raquel? Yes, right? Present. Perfect. Rosa? Present, teacher. Good. Walter? Mm, William? Present teacher. Marvin Adonai. And Wilfredo. Present teacher. Okay, thank you. Stephanie, no te mencioné. I'm sorry, Stephanie. Pero te puse que. ¿Cómo no, Stephanie? No te mencioné. Hello? No. I'm so sorry. Ya te debo un desatado. <laughs> okay. So, um, thank you for all your answers and then. Here we have this like extra vocabulary that I always present to my students. Siempre este es como un vocabulario extra que yo presento a todos mis estudiantes para que tengan, pues, no sé, un vocabulario más extenso. Ok. Para expresar deseos. Pero deseo de, por ejemplo, eh, cuando ustedes desean algo que suceda, algo en sus vidas. Right. Por ejemplo, a ustedes se les aparece un genio. Un genie, a genie, que podrían desear. Okay. For example, you, we use this. I wish. Wish significa deseo o desear. Okay. Deseo o desear. So, I wish plus I verb in past. Bien. Entonces, ¿qué quiere decir? Que nosotros utilizamos el wish más el verbo en pasado. Por ejemplo, I wish I have. 10 cars. Si se dan cuenta, este verbo está en pasado y se traduce a desearía tener 10 cars. Con otro ejemplo, I wish I traveled to Hero. I wish I traveled to Hero. Ok. Ahora, um, aquí tenemos los otros ejemplos, pero. Ahora, si queremos, desearíamos ser, se dice de esta manera. I wish I were. Obviamente el pasado de am es was, pero aquí hay una excepción. So, I wish I were an actor. Desearía ser un actor. I wish I were a singer. Desearía ser un cantante. I wish I were a president. Ok, and there are a lot of possibilities. Ok. Así que repito, se dice I wish... I, y el siguiente verbo tiene que estar en pasado. Y el complemento. Okay. So, let's see. Maybe you have some ideas. Um, I'm going to give you more verbs. Let me see. Voy a dar más verbos. Que son posibles. Como les decía, el had es, es bien común. Uh, I wish. Okay, and that's it. 
So uh, I need you to give me some examples using wish, okay? Andres, what about you, Andres? Can you give me some examples about wishes? I wish I had these 10 cars. Oh yes, I wish I had 10 cars or more than 10 cars. Thank you. What about Carito? And then we go with Raquel. Okay, let me think. De las que están ahí o tengo que no, inventarme una? No, whatever you want. You really want <laughs> lo que realmente quieres en tu vida, mujer. Uh, vamos a decir las que están ahí. I wish I traveled to Europe. Okay, nice. What about Raquel and then Mardoqueo? I, um, I wish I, how do you say very fast? Very fast. Ver. Ah. Ver. So. I wish I saw so, my dad. I'm sorry, I wish I saw? My daddy. Ah, okay. Perfect. Thank you. What about Mardoqueo and then William? I wish I were a teacher. Okay, perfect. <laughs> nice. William, Luis. I wish I had a Lamborghini. Oh, yes, everybody would like yeah. to have that. Okay, thank you. Now let's listen You're to welcome. Luis. <laughs> Kenya, Luis and Kenya. Teacher, I wish I enjoyed my life. Okay, well, you can do it, my friend. Come on, you can. Okay, uh, Kenya and Carla. Okay, I wish I travel to Spain. A to Spain. Spain. Ah, y Carito ya me va a hacer otra porque solo me copió una de las que estaba acá. Es otra. Okay, and we go with Carla and then Elisa. Carla, are you ready? Or you need time? Uh, I can hear you, Carla. Okay, creo que no está lista. Okay, we go with Elisa. And then, Carita. I quiz, I dance professional. Oh, yes, dance professional. What kind of uh, genre? Salsa, merengue, classic? Uh, uh, like break dance. Wow, that sounds really extreme. Good. Okay, thank you. Carito, and then we go with Gabriel. Okay, I wish I live in Republica Dominicana. Okay, that sounds really like very fresh. Yes. Gabriel, and then we go with Wilfredo. I wish a uh, manager. I wish I were manager. Mm -hmm. I wish I were manager. Good example, Wilfredo Rosa. Okay, creo que Wilfredo no está listo. Vamos con Rosa. ¿Qué, okay, Rosa? I wish I travel to New York. Okay, good, good. Okay, those are just examples uh, when we use wish. Okay, solo son ejemplos para utilizar wish en el caso de que, in case you can see some phrases uh, in a movie or in a real life, so you can have like a, an idea. Okay. So um, let's see, here we have this, okay. And in this, uh, this is like, um, like a TDR, como los términos de referencia, bueno, más que todas las funciones, okay. So here we have like the description of the functions, functions of a person, a new employee, es un nuevo empleado, okay. Uh, si puede hacerlo. Okay, uh, I need you to help me. Traverse Inc. is the name of the company. So we start here with Luis. Okay, 
please, I need you to help me with some parts. Okay, for example, here and here. Please, Luis, go ahead. Uh, uh, leerlo, teacher. Yes, please, read it. For uh, uh, be their future, their employees, uh, welcome to Tribers e e Inc. and C. INC uh -huh, or INC. INC. Okay, thank you. Okay, now we go with Kenya and these two lines. Okay, teacher. Congratulations, you are new part of the Travers family. Here's some informati information, information about information about your new Oh, Joe. Joe, ok, information about your new uh, Joe, le están informando acerca de lo que va a ser, ok, thank you, now let's listen to, um, we're having, what if we'll listen to William, ok, here and here, ok, ok teacher, uh, please read it carefully, yeah. name, Glenda Dominic Sanchez, job title, junior sales manager. Okay, nice, good. Now uh, let's listen to, um, sorry, Carito. Oh, yes, Carito. Yes. Key, key job. Where, okay. Key job duties. Have a meeting with your manager every week. Get in contact with customers. Answer clients' questions about our products. Take orders on the telephone. Call potential clients. Okay, nice. So those are like the specific functions of ah, Glenda, right? Thank you. Okay, now uh, let's listen to Andres. Please, Andres. Uh, I can learn. Yes, please. Vacations. Vacation. Two weeks per year. Uh, plus. Public holidays. Okay. ¿Cómo? Perdón, ¿cómo se pronuncia? El... Plus, plus, como Disney Plus. Mm -hmm. Okay. Salary. Four, four, zero. No sé cómo se pronuncia la cantidad, la verdad. Ok, 440. 440 per month plus bonus. Ok, plus bonus. Mm, we can have. Of course, the salary could be better, right? Ok, thank you. Now, uh, let's see. Uh, we have true and false. Ok, here we have this. Uh, read the sentences. Say if they are true or false. Okay, so for this, we're going to uh, listen to, let me see, Jackie. Okay, Jackie, number one. We can say true or false, but first read it. Read number one. Dominic. Okay. Um... Ajá, necesito que leas y después vamos a decir si es verdadero o falso, Jackie. Ok. Mm, false. Jackie, hay que leerlo primero. Es que necesito que lo lea. Por eso te lo Ah, ok. Dominic speaks to clients in her new job. Ok, true or false? False. Ok, Dominic le habla a sus clientes su nuevo trabajo. Get contact, in contact with customers. Creo que debe de ser. True. True. Ok. True. Ok, aquí Jackie speaks. Ok, speaks. Speaks. Mm -mm, sin la E. Speaks. Uh. Thank you. Ok, now let's listen to Rosa, number two, and Carlos, number three. Ok. Her salary is... One hundred dollars. One hundred dollars. One hundred dollars. Period week is uh -huh. false. Yes, false because okay, it should be one hundred and ten, right? Debería ser cien Okay, so that's why it is false. 
Okay, Carlos, number three, please. Dominic, Dominic, F. I journey vacation. Uh -huh. uh, That's true you? or false? Huh? Yes. Yes. Okay. Uh, she has two weeks per year, but she has public holidays, right? So that's why she has more vacations. She doesn't have just one. No tiene solo una vacación anual. Sino que también tiene, pues quiere hacer uno en los días. Okay, but good. Thank you. And we go with, in this case, Raquel, number four. She has to work on holidays. It's false. Yeah, it's false. Okay, good. Thank you. Let's move to the other and we continue. How are businesses today different from the 50 years ago? And in this case, we're going to start with Andres. Are you ready, Andres, to say your opinion about this speaking activity? Okay, if Andres is not ready, let's move to Edwin. Edwin, what about you? Okay, teacher. Um... Example, uh, the work environment is more conditioned um, towards the employees uh, with more industrial safety, more sophisticated machinery and uh, equipment. Okay, yes. Uh, mm -hmm. Yes, they have like, in this in the case of some employees they have like industrial safety okay but or insurance son los seguros well in some cases but 50 years ago it was like very well it, they didn't have like uh, some of the this positive aspects that they have now okay thank you uh, and we let's move now to hey. Uh, Raquel, and then William. Raquel, please, your turn. I think the main one is the technology. For example, it is no longer necessary for all people to be in the same place to hold a meeting. Okay. A meeting, for example, or uh, as an example, this class, right? Um, right. Yes, in the in the previous years, you have to go and be present in the classes. Now you can have classes by uh, any platform like Zoom. And after the class, you go maybe to do some other things so you can sleep, okay? But imagine, imagine uh, finishing your class at 10 and then going back or, or yes, coming back home de regreso a su casa a las 10, kind of hard. Thank you, Raquel. Okay, William. And then Marvin. Okay. How are your businesses today different from uh, 50 years ago? Okay. Now there is more technological advance than before. Everything is more sophisticated and delicate. We have access to many things with the just one click. Yeah. For example, the evolution of the communication. Mm -hmm. That's for sure. That's for sure. And uh, imagine uh, 50 years ago, or well, at least 30 years ago or 20, there was a fax machine. Now fax machines are obsolete, right? They are not so useful in every well the technology is having more advances so well, yes sure. For, sure. more Thank advanced you. okay marvin and then wilfredo if uh, he is ready marvin ready okay i guess no i guess yeah, he's not ready what about wilfredo yeah. Who are butchers today different from uh, 60 years ago? 
and ploys are supported by the machine. Okay. Yes, yes. We have more machines that uh, perform the jobs of people. Okay, thank you. And let's listen to, bueno, Patricia no está, right? And let's see who else is not. Hey, Andres, what about you? Ready now? Okay, so if not, in case it's not, okay, let's move to this. Here I have a conversation. Please take a look to, the, to this conversation and then tell me what do you consider are some keywords or important words, okay? I'm going to give you like a couple of seconds. Okay, any keyword, Elisa, alguna palabra clave que te recuerde? No. No, okay, Luis, and then Raquel. How are you doing? Okay, how are you doing? Good, Raquel and then Edwin. Raquel, no. How many? Okay, how many? Edwin and Carito. Uh, sometime. Okay, Carito. How much money? Okay, how much money? Algo bastante importante, okay? So we have a conversation. Yes, that is really important between Jeff and Ben, okay? So, uh, a veces yo les he preguntado, how are you doing? Cuando les preguntamos, how are you doing? Es como estás. Pero si les dicen, what are you doing? Ah, y les están preguntando, ¿qué estás haciendo? Okay. So, how are you doing? I want to ask, es preguntar, I want to ask you how many days a week do you work? Hey, Ben, well, I work five days a week. And you? That's great. I work four week days. And sometimes on Saturday. Aquí es sometimes, con S al final, sometimes. La mucha gente dice sometime y con N, sometime. It's sometimes. On Saturdays, really? On Saturdays, do you work extra hours? And how much money do they pay for each extra hour? Each significa cada. Each is cada. Yes, I work extra hours when there is too much work to do. Each extra hours is around $10. I see. Well, sometimes there is not much time, right? Y vamos a ver acá, le preguntamos a Raquel cómo pronunciamos esta palabra, Raquel, la última. Absolutely. Yes, absolutely. Perfect. Okay. So, um, each, Gabriel, cuando decimos la palabra each, esta que estoy subrayando, ¿qué significa each? What is that in Spanish? Oh, Gabriel, no idea. No, no, no. Okay, what about Edwin? Each. Each. No. no. Okay, la dije dos veces hace poco. Can Cada. It? Yes, can it? Cada. Perdón, Thank perdón, you. perdón. No problem, no problem. <laughs> A mí ya se me salía también. <laughs> no, tranquilos, tranquilos. Es que le vi en la, en la mirada que me, me ya se sabía la respuesta. Okay, good. So here we have how much and how many. Okay, eh, cuando decimos how many days, podemos contarlos. Un día, dos días, tres días. El much, eh, recuerden que lo tenemos para el dinero. Okay. Entro. A Edwin. Vaya, voy a empezar a anotar las personas que dejan los micrófonos activados ahí. Ok, so here we have this, uh, some, some examples of how to use how many and how much. Ok, we're going to practice this. Do you have problems with the, these words? Problemas con estas palabras? Any new vocabulary? Maybe this. 
There is not. No hay. There is not. No hay mucho tiempo. There is not much time. Se dan cuenta como much. No podemos decir un tiempo, dos tiempos. Okay. Por eso utilizamos much. There is not much time. Ok. Each. Ya dije que se pronuncia each y significada como dice Carito. And. Let's see. Recuerden eh, eh, utilizar las, la, eh, la pronunciación de las S. Voy a hacer una prueba ahorita. Tres palabras. Vamos a ver qué me diga ahorita Rosita. Pronúnciame esas tres palabras. Pues Raquel. Rosa. Rosa, veo que. Sorry, teacher, can you repeat, please? Eh, please, I need to pronounce this. Es que veo que a veces te tardas en activar el micrófono. Creo que, lo, eh, creo que tenés lejos el micrófono. Ok. Yes. Pronuncia, pronuncia las tres. School, stomach. Ok, good. And we go with Raquel and then Gabriel. Please repeat. <laughs> I didn't hear you. Pronounce them. Read them. What? Read these words. Lee estas tres palabras. I'm sorry, teacher. Uh, student school and let me see. Tomash. Okay, thank you. And Gabriel, you go. Student school is Tomash. Okay, thank you. Bien, normalmente a veces le agregamos la E. Aquí la voy a escribir un montón de veces para que no la pronuncien, aunque ninguno de ustedes la pronunció. Pero a veces sí tenemos eso. Y es porque no tenemos una S y una consonante en español. So we say a student, a school, a stomach. Y es stomach, no stomach, ¿ok? Stomach, ok. Entonces, ya que tenemos claro esto. Sometimes. Name. Name. Porque he escuchado la primera, el primer día, me dijeron, my name is, ahí escuché, my name, y es my name, name. Eh, pongamos atención en las, en las primeras letras y en las últimas. Nosotros, como salvadoreños, eh, no decimos verdad, decimos verdad, o si no decimos va. ¿Va que sí? So. We short words. Acortamos las palabras. No decimos esperame. ¿Verdad, William? ¿Cómo decimos? En lugar de esperame en español, decimos... ¡Ey, espérame! Espérame. Yes. Así decimos, espérate, espérame. Yes, that's the way we speak. Y así hablamos. So, can you notice how we omit a lot of consonants? Como omitimos muchas consonantes. That's why when we are learning English, we don't pronounce the complete words, uh, the complete letters. No, no, no pronunciamos todas las letras. Es por eso ya es parte de nosotros ahorrarnos esas letras. But no, we have to do it. Okay. So uh, I need you to have a, a screenshot if you. Permítame. Okay. Please, screenshot. If not, if you already have your what? Your manual, please, uh, you can read it from there. Pueden leerlo del manual. Pero si no, necesito que le tomen una captura a eso y vamos a trabajarlo en parejas unos tres minutos. Okay? Ya mismo lo mando, teacher. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. So, uh, I'm going to give you one minute. Le voy a dar un minuto para que practiquen eso ustedes solos. ¿Verdad? Voy a organizarlos en, en, en los grupos. Okay, so see you in a moment. Necesito que ahorita practiquenlo, practiquen. Okay, ustedes solo, ya lo voy a agrupar. Hola, buenas noches. 
Hola, los estoy, los estoy agregando ahorita. Por eso les dije, un minuto para que practiquen y ya los, eh, los redirijo a los grupos. Solo denme un par de segundos. Okay, see you in a moment. Accept the request, please. Hola, Carito. I'm sorry. I you were supposed to to be with a uh, with Andres, but he couldn't connect. Creo que está un tanto ocupado. No se ha conectado. Okay. So we're going to practice. Yep. I can't hear you because your microphone is off. Oh, okay. So espérame. Okay. No te escuché. Okay. Let's practice. Okay. Em Empieza yo. Okay, go ahead. Regale un momento, teacher. Ahí les okay, I okay, perfect. Uh, Jeff, how are you doing? I want to ask you how many days a week do you work? Hey, Ben. Well, I work five days a week. And you? That's great. I work four weeks a day and sometimes on Saturdays. Really? Saturdays? Do you work extra hours? And how much money do they pay for each extra hour? Yes, I work extra hours when there is too much work to do. Each extra hour is around $10. I see. Well, sometimes there's not much time, right? Absolutely. Yeah, that's good. Absolutely. Absolutely. Muchos dicen absolutely, teacher. <laughs> yes, that happens. Get some palabras being tricky. Okay, now I start. Jeff, how are you doing? I want to ask you how many days a week do you work? Hey, Ben. Well, I work five days a week. And you? That's great. I work four weekdays and sometimes on Saturdays. Really? On Saturdays? Do you work extra hours? And how much money do they pay for each extra hour? Yes, I work extra hours when there is too much work to do. Each extra hours is around ten dollars. I see. Well, sometimes there is not much time, right? Absolutely. Okay, bien, carito. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, ya sabía bastante. 
now I can see that you have you are learning more vocabulary. Yes. I try. Okay. okay, see you in a moment. Okay, bye. Bye. Okay, I need some pronunciations, okay? So uh, to continue with this and to do it like kind of, right? Uh, kind of quickly, uh, Raquel, who was your classmate? Uh, William. Okay, I need you to, okay. No, read it completely, please go ahead. Completely? Yep, do it, the conversation, please. You and William. Oh, and okay. okay. I'm ready. Go ahead. <laughs> <You too>. uh, <laughs> come um, on, Raquel. <laughs> okay. Jeff, how are you doing? I want to ask you, how many days a week do you work? Hey, Ben. Well, I work five days a week. And you? That's great. I work four weeks day and sometimes on Saturday. Really? On Saturday? On Saturdays? Do you work extra hours? And how much money do they pay for each uh, extra hour? Yes, I work extra hours when there is too much work to do. Each extra hour is around $10. I see. Well, sometimes there is not much time, right? Absolutely. Yes, absolutely. Okay, thank you. Very nice. So let's see here we have an example. Stephanie, gracias por decirme. Okay, and here we have this. Circle the word that best completes the question. Tenemos dos opciones, okay? Number one, Carlita, you go. Read number one, how much or how many, okay? Y quiero que elijas uno, ya sea much or many. Sigue tu corazón. Solo tengo que decir uno de esos dos. Eh, hay que leerla toda, pero okay. me vas a elegir uno, ya sea much or many, okay? Okay. How much many hours a day do you work? Ajá, pero ¿cuál sería? Much or many? Ah, ok, sería. Mm, much? Mm -mm. How many? Ok. How many hours? Ok, good, thank you. Edwin, number two. How much or how many? And read the complete sentence, please. Uh, ok. Eh, vamos a ver, how many hours a day do no. work? Number two, number two. Por eso te la subrayé acá. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Eh, much? Sí, pero lee la completa. Please. How much do they pay per hours? Yes, that's it. Thank you. Very nice. Okay, Mardoqueo, I need you to help me. Reading this, how many, please? How many for contable? 
nouns. Nouns, nouns, hours, days, weeks, years. Okay, okay, continue. Okay. I needed to read this, number one and number two. Mm -hmm. Number 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 one, how many? Ah, tienes que leerlo. Por eso te digo, continue. How how many days a week do you rest? Okay, number how two. How many how many hours a day do you work? Okay, thank you. Very nice. Now let's listen to Gabriel. How much? Okay, for uncountable. Gabriel. Tienes desactivado el micrófono. How much for uncountable, uncountable nouns? Uncountable nouns. Money, time. Time. Okay. Vamos con el número uno. How much? How much money today? Pay. To the pay per extra hours. Okay, number two. How much? How much time do we have? Okay, thank you. Okay, basically we have how many versus how much. Okay. And now here we have uh, the examples, los, ex los ejemplos. Uh, para cosas que son contables, uh, con los temas que estamos viendo, hours, days, weeks, years. And here we have uncountable uh, money or time. Okay, so that's uh, very important. Algo que se me fue y es parte del vocabulario importante es el, es el siguiente. Here we have weekdays. Weekdays uh, are days from Monday to Friday. Okay, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. But weekends, weekends, uh, it's Saturday and Sunday. Okay, weekends. Okay. Weekend, como el cantante de weekend, algo así. But here we have weekdays, son los días laborales. Well, usually we work with Monday to Friday, but in El Salvador we work on Saturday as well. Okay, so, but weekdays, uh, it's for uh, Monday to Friday. Okay, so let's continue. Okay, here we have a work a sheet, and here we have countable. Traten de pronunciar esto. Countable, countable. Yes, just uncountable. Okay. Countable, countable, and uncountable. Okay. So I need you to read this sentence, uh, these sentences, and tell me countable or uncountable. Okay. Entonces las leemos y vamos a decir. Que si son countable, si son contables o si son uncountable. Pero ¿qué son contables? The words in bold, las palabras que están en negrita. En eso nos vamos a basar, ¿ok? Para decir si son contables o no contables, ¿ok? So for this sentence, we're going to start with Luis, ¿ok? And then Elisa. Eh, Number eh, one. Decir, con, countable. No, Luis. Repito. Tienen que leerme mm. la oración y decirme okay. después si es contable o... Or... Ok, teacher. What number? The, the children are playing in the garden. The children are playing in the garden. Uh -huh. What is contable or un uncountable? Contable. Yes, contable. Thank you. Elisa okay. and then Carito. Very good. Number? Number two. Okay. Uh, I don't like I do I don't like milk or countable. Yes, uncountable. Thank you. Carito Kenya. The number three, but I I have not stay, I am not sure because I'm talking about tea like a granel or the las bolsitas. No. You're talking, uh, when you say tea is similar to some other okay. beverage, similar to a, a, okay. a general drink. Okay. okay, so I prefer tea is uncountable. Yes, similar to say I prefer chocolate. Yes, okay, that's okay. it. Good. Okay. Kenya, and then we go with Carlos. 15. 
Okay, 15. Successful candidate, no, candidate. Ca candidates, yes. A candidate will join the camp later, is later? Later. Uh, later this year. Okay. It's countable. Yeah, perfect, countable. Okay, good. We go now with Carlos and then Oscar. Number five. I have okay. My mother. My mother owes sugar to her family. Uh huh. Uncountable. Uh, Uncountable. Uncountable. So Windows in our classroom. Okay. Windows in our classroom. <laughs> okay, alguien tiene activado el micrófono nuevamente. Creo que está usando Google. Later, but it's okay, you can use some tools. Okay, who's the uh, Oscar, right? Teacher, hmm? hola, Yo, Teacher, ahorita. Oh. Oh. I continue, Elisa. Oh, oh. I solamente tenía una duda: como se pronuncia la palabra eh, de la file, decía my mother uses, uses, como se pronuncia. Use, use, use. Uh -huh. use. Okay. El verbo es use. Mm -hmm. Use. So, uses. Okay. That's it. Um, the, uh, Oscar, right? And after Oscar, we'll go with Walter. Hey. Uh, number, number six. Okay, go. Uh, there are a lot of windows in our this room classroom uh -huh. a classroom perdón eh, a contable 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 okay thank you we go with walter and then rosa okay in number 11 okay 11 drivers uh, driver miles on contable okay eh, tienes que leer toda la oración Mm -hmm. Drivers must be careful. The road is slippery. Okay, drivers is countable. Son oh. contables. Okay, thank you. And we go with Rosa, right? And then Jackie. Yes. Please. Number seven. Go. Oh. We need some wood to fix this base. Is uncountable. Uncountable. Pega. Claro, la pega es. Okay, we go with Jackie and then William. Um, 14. Yeah, I'd like. Uh, I'd like some whiz, please. Um, uh, just just uh, uncountable. Uncountable, yes. Um, no sé si vieron una película toda extraña de Tim Burton que se llamaba Beetlejuice. Eh, con era una película, creo que ochentera, Beetlejuice, ok. Entonces era como de un fantasma que tenía que repetir, creo que tres veces el nombre para que apareciera algo así, no recuerdo muy bien. So, Beetlejuice, que es jugo de escarabajo, ok. So, acuérdense de juice, acuérdense de eso, Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice, ok. So, that's it. Porque esa palabra bien extraña también para pronunciar, juice, juice, ok. Nice. And we go with who? I don't know. William, right? William and then Mardoqueo. Okay, number four. Oh, scientists. Scientists say that the environment is there. Uh, threatened, threatened, threatened by pollution. The pollution is countable. Yeah, countable. Thank you. Okay, Mardoqueo and then Carlita. Number eight. Okay, go with eight. The, the waiters in this restaurant are very professional. Hmm? It's countable. Countable, perfect. Carla? Okay, Carlita. And then after Carlita, we go with Wilfredo. My mother usually. Uh -huh. Five. My Number mother five. usually, see, 
uh, mother uses. uses uses butter, bacon, butter, butter. to prepare prepare cakes uncountable 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 this my mother uses okay thank you uh, we go with wilfredo and then edwin please on the right go my father my father Right to build drinks to build glass of water every morning. Morning. Uh, Contour. Uh, yes, that's Contour. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, we go now with Edwin and Carlos. Okay. Uh, la... 12. Okay, go. Some policemen. Some policemen are organ, organizing road traffic to avoid any accident. Any accident. Mm -hmm. any, okay. Contable or uncountable? Edwin, contable or uncountable? Um, Control. Okay, control. Okay, okay uh, what about Carlos, please? M. Then Elisa. M. M. Ten. The bread. The, the bread, my mother, prepared in the list of. Hmm? Control. Uh, okay, yes, yes. Control. <laughs> Elisa and then Carito. About three bottles of mineral water for all picnic. Mm -hmm. um, countable. Countable. Y aquí te da la pista. Three bottles. Three. Okay, yeah, that's four. it. Carito, number 16. Our rice. Okay. Uh, our rice in oil price is inevitable. 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 Since there is more and more world demand for energy. I'm so sorry about the letter. It's yeah, I'm sorry. Tiny, yes, tiny, that, tiny. That, that's my I fault. Am. Okay, so, this is uncountable. Uncountable. So thank you. Um, let's see, maybe I notice. Yo pongo también esos ejemplos para ver cómo están en, la pre, en las pronunciaciones, ¿verdad? Aquí lo dijo, lo dijo muy bien Elisa. Pero... Edwin, tienes activado el micrófono. Yes, ayúdame. Ok, just. Recuerden, just. Uh, candidate. Successful. Um, tenemos acá. Butter. Uses. Scientist. Bread, como el grupo Bread. Bastante bueno. Uh, drinks. Careful. Slippery. Avoid. Avoid significa evitar. Avoid. Es un verbo importante. Ok. So, the, ok. Let's continue. What do you think about plastic surgery? Would you like, would you have one? Tendrías una. Ok. En este caso, solo dicen, yes, I would. Or... No, I, I wouldn't, wouldn't. En este caso, cuando decimos uh, I would, eh, es el caso este de, de la silent letter. Aquí es, así se pronuncia, would, 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 ok. Y aquí se pronuncia wouldn't, wouldn't, ¿ok? Yes, I would. No, I wouldn't. Quiere decir que la O y la L son silent letters. No se pronuncian la O ni la L, ¿ok? Como muchas otras palabras. I would, no, I wouldn't. ¿Verdad? No, no digan would, wouldn't. No, would, wouldn't. Ok, so what do you think about plastic surgery? Esa es la primera pregunta y luego, luego me dicen yes or no. 
Okay, let's listen to William and then Mardoqueo. Okay, William. Okay, teacher. What do you think about plastic surgery? It's positive, negative, it's good, bad. Um, yes, I would. You would. Okay, but what do you think? It is positive for people, it is good, it is bad. Um in occasion uh, not much. In occasions, no much. Okay, thank you. For example, the put the for example, I think that the pajilla, como se dice en, 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 la paj, pajilla, la, la cosa esta de Ah, uh -huh, uh -huh. yeah, this trip is is not more more important. Uh, no, 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 William. I'm talking about plastic surgery, cirugía plástica. Okay, sorry. Okay. No problem. I'm okay. going to give you time. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I'm going to give you time. Prepare your answer. Okay, prepare your answer. No problem. Relax. Okay, Carito. Oh, well, Mar well, Carito está animada, creo que ahí nos va a contar. Okay, then Mardoqueo, please. Primero yo? Yes, and then Mardoqueo. Okay, my answer is no, I wouldn't. Uh, I'm afraid to do it, but it's okay that other people do it. Yeah, I wouldn't do it, but if other people do it, it's okay. Yes, yes. Uh, we have some risks. Okay, tenemos también riesgos. Okay. A lot of risks. Yes, okay, Mardoqueo and Elisa. Okay, Mardoqueo, your turn. Uh, I think that sometimes it's, it is necessary. Mm -hmm. Sometimes it's necessary, yes. In your case, Mardoqueo, would you have one? Yes or no? No, I would. I no, wouldn't. I would. Perfect, well said. Okay, uh, Elisa, Elisa the Taylor. Hey, Elisa. That in some cases are necessary for medical reason. Mm. I will not perform plastic surgery for beauty reason. Oh. No, I wouldn't. Medical reasons versus. Reasons. Yeah. Beauty. Reasons, very good point. So we have this like opposites, right? Medical reasons, you need it. Beauty reasons, you desire it. You wish it. Tú la deseas, tú lo quieres, right? So, well, that's it. Thank you, Elisa. What if okay. we, okay, perfect. Uh, what about Rosa and then Edwin? Rosita, what do you think about this topic? I think plastic surgery is amazing because people look sexy and people look very different. Yes, it looks, and now the technology and the science, they, they have like lasers, okay? Now the surgery is kind of the different now, right? It's good, yes. it's well. Okay, perfect, thank you. But Rosita, would you have one? Yes, in your case? No, I wouldn't. I wouldn't. Would? Okay, you wouldn't. Okay. Pensé que iba a decir que como dijiste que era no, painting. Because... Oh, bueno. No, because I haven't money. <laughs> I don't have money. That's the reason. I, don't have money. <laughs> okay. I need money. Yes. Okay, good point. Okay, thank you. And now here we have Edwin and then Carlos. Okay, Edwin, your turn. Uh, okay, uh, I think uh, Okay, do you need time, right? Uh, tiempo. With the improvement uh, aesthetic. Oh, improvement of aesthetic. Okay, good. Okay. So in your case, would you have one? Tendrías una? Uh, no, I wouldn't. I wouldn't. Okay, uh, thank you. But because it 
has health repercussion. Okay, health repercussion. Thank you. Carlos, and then we go with Kenya. My opinion were to improve the parents of person. Okay, good. So in your case, you would have yes or no? No, I was I would not. I wouldn't. I would not. Okay, thank you. Kenya, okay, Kenya, and then we go with Stephanie. Okay, teacher, se ves me entiende. Dele con todo. That they are the rules to to Jerry's and that they show only the better form of people who really need to remove some part of their body. Okay, if they need to remove some part of their body, yes, or in the case people are burnt, they han sido quemadas. For example, there are some accidents, okay, with uh -huh. the fire. And maybe the, that, uh, talking about the reason that Elisa mentioned, medical reasons, uh -huh. okay? Sí, so, Formados. Yeah, with, with uh, different formations and they are born like in that way. They have problems, okay? During pregnancy, during the embarazo, they, ha they have problems, okay? So mm -hmm. yes, they, they need it, okay? Thank you. To correct some things that maybe is going to be like worse in the future. Good, thank you. Uh, we go now with Stephanie and then Raquel. They are not not necessary. Okay. Okay. Not necessary for you. So you wouldn't have one. No. No. Is no. If you had money, you wouldn't. Aunque tuviera aquí. Aha. Okay. That's a, that's. Aha. Uh -huh, okay. Let's say no. <laughs> Let's say no. Thank you, Raquel, and then uh, Walter. I think that is a great evolution, but I consider it that on some occasion it is used for our healthy purpose and not for vanity. Oh, yes, for vanity. It's like, okay, I, I want to look sexy okay, in that. No, it is that uh, we were talking about uh, that previously. Medical risk is something that you need it. Okay. Yeah. Thank you, Raquel. Good. And Walter, we finished with Walter, okay? Tell me your opinion about this. My opinion is um, I know I wouldn't. wouldn't. Uh, yes, I wouldn't. Okay. Wouldn't. Wouldn't. Good. Um, I, I agreed with Elisa. Okay, it perfect. It's a medical reason. Yes. I'm ready, teacher. Okay, William, I'm not going to forget your opinion. Okay. Tell me. No, I wouldn't. You wouldn't. Really? If yeah. you have money? I do not agree. I prefer the natural. I consider that it is unnecessary because we would alter the body. Yes, yes, well, that's it. It altered the body. Yeah, there are some Yeah. Yes, so you wouldn't. Mejor un Lamborghini, right? Yes, yes. Cura todo, eso lo cura todo. Okay, thank you. All right. We have uh, another worksheet, and here we're going to use don't or doesn't. Okay, a question for Gabriel. Gabriel, can you mention, please, the third person? When I talk about third person, I'm talking about what? What words comes to your mind? ¿Qué palabras vienen a tu mente cuando hablamos de terceras personas? Hmm? Don't. Mm, don't. Don't. Okay, te refieres a don't. Te refieres a don't. don't? Okay. Uh, Pero, no. No. Don't. Ah, doesn't. Okay, yes, yes. This word is related. Esta palabra, yes, is related to third person. Ahora, what are the third person? ¿Cuáles son las terceras personas?
She, 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 if we talk about our pet, si hablamos de una mascota, hablamos con it, aunque a veces utilizamos he or she. ¿Verdad? Cuando, lo, cuando, lo, cuando lo decimos... Edwin, necesito que siempre apague el micrófono. ¿Yes? Ok. Cuando a veces utilizamos he or she para, para algunas mascotas, ¿verdad? pero en general, he or she puede ser... Eh, el pronombre sirve para no usar tanto el nombre. So... Let's go to this. We you we need to use don't or doesn't in this because we are talking about negative sentences. And for these negative sentences, we're going to start with Oscar. Okay, Oscar. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Select one. What number, Oscar? And then after Oscar, we go with Mardoke. Number two. Okay, go. We we doesn't wear jeans. Okay, acabo de mencionar, Oscar, que el doesn't no. es para las terceras personas, right? Ah, uh, sí. Ah. Okay. Uh, we don't know. Yes, we wear jeans. Thank you. Mardoqueo, your turn. And then we go with Jackie. Probably in number... Four. Number four, go. I don't teach Italian. Yeah. Italy. Italian, mm. it's okay. Italian. Italy is uh, el país. Okay. Uh, let's, uh, Jackie, Luis. Uh, one. One. Rebecca, don't drink, drink coffee. Okay. Rebecca is tercera persona, Jackie. Si uh, ella, doesn't. Yes. Yes. Okay. Good. Nice. We go now with uh, Luis and then what? Uh, Walter. Number six. Okay, six. This car. This car. This car does run fast. Oh, doesn't. Mm -hmm. Doesn't. Doesn't run fast. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, Walter, and then we go with Gabriel. Okay. They not go to the cinema. Okay, they don't. No, not. They don't. Okay, good. Okay, Gabriel and then Carl. Gabriel, number three or number eight? Um, number three. Okay. Uh, don't. Okay. The voice don't. Yes, don't. Okay, Carla, please. My mother. My mother doesn't. Yes. Miedito, pero ahí vamos. Cate, arriesgate. Doesn't like rats. A mi mamá no le gustan las rats. Creo que a nadie le gustan, okay? Nobody likes rats. Okay, good. Um, let's continue with this. Carito, select one, and then Wilfredo. Recuerden siempre, remember, we have to use don't or doesn't for negative sentences. Okay, Carito, select yours. Okay, number one, we don't go by train. Yeah, easy. It's easy. It's easy. Okay, uh, Wilfredo Rosa. Do you need time, Wilfredo? Necesito un poco de tiempo. Okay, I'm going to give it. Four. Four, okay. This man. Uh, does. Doesn't. Yes, yes doesn't smoke. Okay, good. Doesn't. Rosa, Kenya. You don't have a car. Okay, easy. Kenya, and then we go with Carlos. 
Okay, they don't speak English. And Carlos, and then we go with, please. I think we, that, it, it doesn't fly. Right. Okay, thank you. Luis? And then Stephanie. Okay, no, Luis. Okay, Stephanie, your turn. It doesn't rhyme. Yes. In summer. Yes, it doesn't rhyme. So, okay, good. Now let's listen to. Okay, Luis, please select one. La número uno. Ok, ya está. Number two or crocodiles. Eh, or I. I. Then Elisa. La última. I. I. Does. Mm -mm. I don't. I don't. don't. I don't. Like okay. swimming. Okay, Elisa, and then uh, we go with William. Okay. Coco, como se? Crocodiles. Crocodiles. Okay. Crocodile dancing like in the sand. Bien. Okay. Aquí, como es plural? Uh, batons. Ya voy a explicar eso. Okay, Don't. thank you. Okay. okay. William, number two. Ah, snail. Mm -hmm. Microphone, William, please. Okay, sorry. A uh, snail doesn't wear clothes. Okay, good. Uh, something important. When we talk about dog, un perrito es tercera persona. Pero si utilizamos dogs, deja de ser tercera persona. Okay. Si decimos boy, es tercera persona. Porque podemos decir he, o sea, boy. Pero si le agregamos S, ya no suena, ya no es tercera persona. Oh, otro ejemplo. Um, girls. Estamos hablando de las chicas. Chica, perdón, girl. Entonces, esta puede ser reemplazada por she. Pero cuando utilizamos girls, eso va a ser reemplazado por they. Porque estamos hablando de ellas. ¿Ok? Ellas. Uh -huh. Entonces, eso pasa con crocodile. Crocodile. Si la S, ¿hmm? crocodile, crocodile, es tercera persona, es it, pero si le agregamos S, ya se vuelve plural. Okay. A los okay. plurales, Thank todos you. los plurales, you're welcome. Todos los plurales van a ser, vamos a utilizar don't. Ok. Questions? Ok, thank you, teacher. Anytime, it's a pleasure. Questions about this? Do you have questions? I guess no. Ok. 30 minutes and we finish. Ya solo nos quedan 30 minutos para terminar la clase. Okay, what do you think about plastic surgery? Would you have one? In this case, I'm going to ask to... Jacqueline. Okay, Jacqueline. And after Jacqueline, we have Carla. Jacqueline, ready? microphone. Give el micrófono, yes. Mm. Okay, okay. Yes, it is greatly useful in the reconstruction of people who are affected, affected by cliff lips. Affected by, mm. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh -huh. uh, would you have one? Yes, I would, or no, I would. And okay, creo que el internet está fallando. Okay, good. And 
Let's listen to I that. would, would I, uh, not do any plastic sequence necessary due to and uh, no, I do. Okay, thank you. Thank you, uh, Gabriel, your turn, please. And then Carla, I'm sorry, Carlita, then you go. Okay, um, let's see. Okay, Carlita, go, you go, and then Gabriel. Okay. Please. And my opinion, we have to accept yourself as you are, but in my case, if I would like to change a part of my body, but good exercise for or going to the gym is possible to achieve achievement, but not good plastic surgery. So okay, yeah. yes. Talking about appearance, if you want to change something, you can go to the gym or be healthy, estar saludable, right? And yes, you can change if you want, positively. Thank you. Okay, Gabriel, thank you. Okay. No, I couldn't. Uh, maybe a uh, tattoo. <laughs> okay. Not plastic surgery, no. but a tattoo, similar to Karit. Okay. <laughs> problem let's listen now to Luis your turn please and then Wilfredo okay teacher I think it is bad for the body no I couldn't okay bad for the body no, you thank you Wilfredo what about you uh, for me Yes, uh, it's, it's not necessary. Not necessary. Okay, you would it. No, no, yes, right? Uh, no. Okay, thank you. And now let's listen okay. to. Okay, who's next? Uh, let's listen to Oscar. From... Ready, Oscar? Okay. Uh... No wooden. Okay. No. I think I think that we grab the pepper. Okay. Nice. All right. Thank you. Okay, we're going to continue. Hey, Gabriel, necesito que me ayudes con tu micrófono porque se te activa. Okay. Um, let's see. We have short speech. You have to listen this short speech and take notes of some words that you can listen. Es como un discurso, un mini discurso, okay? You have to listen and try to identify some words, okay? And then I'm going to ask what are the ideas or words that you could wrote, ¿verdad? Después me dicen eh, cuáles fueron las ideas o cuáles fueron las palabras que pudieron, pues, eh, anotar, okay? Be ready. Lo voy a reproducir dos veces, como siempre. Speech. With the help of the internet, purchasing products online has become very popular among people. All the banking and financial transactions can be sent and can receive money with the internet's help. But with all the benefits, the internet has disadvantages as well. The disadvantages includes the leaking of data and personal information. Social media can also create disturbances through malicious content. Okay, again, the nuevo. Internet speech. With the help of the internet, purchasing products online has become very popular among people. All the banking and financial transactions can be sent and can receive money with the internet's help. But with all the benefits, the internet has disadvantages as well. The disadvantages includes the leaking of data and personal information. Social media can also create disturbances through malicious content. Okay. So let's listen to some of the words that you could identify. I know that 
the pronunciation was kind of fast. So it is necessary to have different types of pronunciation. So in the accent, so you can have like a, a wide view about what is English. They want to different types of pronunciation and accents. Okay, and volunteers for, uh, if you want to tell me or share what you identified, Carito, tell me. Okay, a financial transaction, personal yes. information, the help of internet, and that you can send and receive money. Good, money. Yes, you can money. send money. and receive money. Mm -hmm. that, that is something that he mentioned. Good, thank you very much. Anyone else? Thank you, Carito. Anyone else? I guess if you wrote one or two words, perfect. Si escribieron una o dos palabras, perfecto también. No problem. Please tell me. Uh -huh. Teina Operario Información. Okay. okay. Yes, yes. Perfect. Elisa. Sí, ya solamente pude agarrar tres palabras. Money, problem? people, y managers. Yes, that was good. Thank you. Yes. And thank you, Elisa. Anyone else? Me, teacher. Okay, me. Go ahead. Wait, Rosa. Yes. With the internet, people use the final transaction money in the inter internet, manager, social media. Is true? Okay. No. Yeah. Wow, Rosita. Very good. Very good job. Anyone else? I know that you have some other words. Sé que tienen otras palabras por ahí. Okay, Jackie, please. Um, popular men, people receive much money and management. Eh, yes, people receive much money. And there are types, there are different types of management. Yes, Jackie, good. Anyone else? Okay, I know that some of you wrote some words. Sé que algunos escribieron una o dos palabras y ya la dijeron y quizás. But that was good. Estuvo bien. Okay, para eso son estos ejercicios. No se frustren o no sientan. No, no entendí nada saber qué dijo. O sea, lo importante es una palabra a la vez. Vamos, una palabra. Okay, this is a process. Es un proceso. Entonces tenemos que ir mejorando. Si identificar una palabra, good. Dos palabras, perfect. Three, excellent. Y así vamos, okay? I'm going to play it one more time, pero para que lo lea, okay? Here we go. Internet speech. With the help of the internet, purchasing products online has become very popular among people. All the banking and financial transactions can be sent and can receive money with the internet's help. But with all the benefits, the internet has disadvantages as well. The disadvantages includes the leaking of data and personal information. Social media can also create disturbances through malicious content. Okay, clearly we can notice that we have some advantages, but also we have disadvantages about internet use. Okay, so that's it, okay? Related to the banking financial transactions about uh, internet disadvantages, leaking of data and personal information. So people can steal your information, personal information. La gente puede robar, ¿verdad? Tu información personal. And social media can also create disturbances. For example, memes or some posts, ¿verdad? Algunas publicaciones on Facebook, on Twitter that, well, it is kind of what uh, it can disturb your life, okay? So uh, we're going to have this kind of speech every class. Vamos a tener este tipo de audios cada clase para que nos vayamos como que acomodando y, y pues eh, tratando de desarrollar más el listening. Eh, son personas, es, eh, algunas veces van a ser out, personas que ustedes quizás reconozcan las voces, ¿verdad? Otras veces que a saber quiénes son. Pero, pues, de eso se trata que ustedes escuchen. You can listen different types of accents and pronunciation. Okay. So, um, here we go to a conversation. And this is really important because we're going to talk about third person. Ya estamos hablando de las terceras personas acá. 
we have conversation one and two, okay? So, here we have conversation one, a very simple. Specializes, specializes, como cuando le dicen, you are so special, cuando le dicen que ustedes son especiales. You are so special, entonces se parece, specializes, specializes. In sports medicine, is this sounds, no me digan sound, sounds, sounds, okay? So, uh, let's see conversation number two. Countryside, countryside, nuevamente, sounds. Races. Aun, 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 okay. Y la palabra que está antes, que está en grow. Grows. Grows, that's okay. Uh -huh. She also grows her own food. She has it all. all. Okay. Um, what does Bob do? He works at the hospital. What does he do there? Oiga bien, there, there. La R bien importante, there, como car. Okay, there, car, dear, door. Esa R es bien característica. He's a doctor. He specializes in sports medicine. That sounds like a great job. Yeah, he loves it. Miren esta, eh, ese, he loves, no, he loves, he loves it. Okay, number two. Where does Mary live? She lives, otra es, ¿verdad? She lives in the countryside. That sounds nice. Yeah, she loves it. She has a farm and she raises horses. Wow, that's so cool. Yeah, she also grows her own food. She has it all. Bien, entonces, más que todo la, la segunda. ¿Dónde vive Mary? Ella vive en el, en el área rural o en el country. El área es más, no es urbana. Eso suena bien, sí. Ella le encanta. Ella tiene una farm, farm, farm. Siempre se me va esta palabra. Granja. Granja, granja. Ajá, granja. And she raises horses. Y ella, pues, este, cría, ¿verdad? Cría este, caballos. Wow, that's so cool. Yeah, she also grows her own food. Sí, ella también, esta palabra es importante. Also, also, no also. She also grows her own food. Ella también planta, ella cultiva su propia comida. She has it all. She has it all. ¿verdad? Entonces, eso es importante. We're going to practice this. Um, do we have some uh, difficulties with any other word? Otra palabra difícil? Sí, uh, here. Can you repeat which one? The word one, one or two. Specializing. Specializes. Okay. Thanks. Recuerdan cuando las estaban enamorando. You're so special. You're so special. Bueno, si los enamoran todavía, excelente. El amor no muere. Que todo puede morir menos eso. Ok, so, y, bueno, sí muere, pero ok. So, you're so special. You're so special. Entonces, specializes. Lices. Ok, specializes. Eso sería. Ok, so, ya nos pusimos románticos. So, uh, please, I need to have screenshot. Carita, tal vez me ayuda y ya que no salga mi cara llena de glamour. Como otra vez. Please. And we're going to practice. We're about to finish. Ya casi estamos por terminar. Thank you, Carito. Okay. So, see you. See? Okay, see you in a moment.
Carito, lo siento, te asignó <risa> otra persona y veo que huyen de ti. No, ¿En mentira. En serio, no. no o sea, broma, ni saben que van contigo, ¿verdad? Pero, sí, yo sé que, que no se sabe con quién va uno. No, no se sabe, pero te, te cambié incluso. <risa> Esta gente. Ok, yo creo que tú tienes demasiado poder. That's why. Ok. Let's see. Conversation one and two. Who starts? You or yes. me? Okay. What does Bob do? He works at the hospital. What does he do there? He's a doctor. He specializes in sports medicine. That sounds like a great job. Yeah, he loves it. Where does Mary live? She lives in the countryside. That sounds nice. Yeah, she loves it. She has a farm and she raises horses. Wow, that's so cool. Yeah, she grow she also grows her own food. She has it all. Okay, now you start. Yep. What does Bob do? He works at a hospital. What does he do there? He's a doctor. He specializes in sports medicines. Medicine. That's <laughs> that sounds like a great job. Yeah, he loves it. Where does Mary live? She lives in the countryside. That sounds nice. Yeah, she loves it. She has a farm and she raises horse. Wow, that's so cool. Yeah, she also, she also grows her own food. She has it all. Okay, pronuncia me esta carito. Horses. Yes, horses. horses. La pronuncié mal en el diálogo. No, <laughs> solo te faltó a horses. El horses. Okay. horses. That's okay. Yeah. Ready? Ready? Yeah, we're ready. Let me check something. Okay, carito. Te veré en un par de segundos, ¿ok? Ok, ok, bye. Perfecto. Pues sí, carito. Talk to me, teacher. Okay, everything okay. And what is your schedule? Do you work in the morning at eight, at seven? <clears throat> what time do you start? Sometimes I start at 8 a.m., 5 a.m., 4.30 a.m. Really? When I have to go with the sell, salesman, mm -hmm. or the vendedores en los camiones, at 4.35 in the morning. Oh, yes, yes, I know. I have worked like that. Yo trabajo así. It's difficult. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And uh, let's see. Vamos a ver a quién elegimos ahora. Carito, decime a quién elegimos. Veamos las... Nice. Todos tienen cara de inocente. <laughs> Uh -huh. Kenia. Kenia, vaya Kenia. Y la carita, ah, ya me va a dormir. <laughs> okay, Kenia. Conversation one or two. Two. Okay. Con Jackie. Jackie. Okay. Action. 
Where does Mary live? She lives in the countryside. That's so nice. Yeah, she loves it. She has a farm and she rides horse. Wow, that's so cool. Yeah, she also grows her own food. She has it all. Thank you, very nice. Solo recuerda, races, horses. Lo que les decía, races, horses. Las últimas letras son importantes, ok. okay. Bien, Kenia. ¿A quién inyectamos ahora, Kenia? Ya que te, te llamaron, te invocaron. ¿A quién invocas? Ok, invoco a Mardoqueo. Mardoqueo, you are the winner. Ok, conversation one. Mi compañera. <ríe> bueno, ¿cómo te, eh, ¿cómo te ama? Sí, me ama. Yes. Es que está de vacaciones y me extraña. <laughs> that's the reason. That's the reason. Uh, conversation number one. Yes. Con Elvira. Please. Inicio yo, Elvira. Okay. What does, what does Bob do? He worked at a hospital. What does he do there? He's a doctor. He specializes in for medicine. 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 Um, like a great job. Yeah, he loves it. Okay, good. Thank you. Rosita, specialize. Specializes. Porque no dijiste E. Eh. Specializes. Okay. And let's see, for example. Wow. Special. Ok. Luis, pronúnciame estas tres palabras, please. And, and after Luis, we have Walter. Ok. Special space speak. Good, thank you. Walter, and after Walter, we go with Raquel. Ah, no, Raquel ya pasó. Después de Walter vamos con... Sí, a Raquel ya pasó. Vamos con Wilfred. Ok, Walter. Ok, especial, space y speed. Ok, good, thank you. And Wilfredo. Special, space, speed. Thank you, Wilfredo. Good. Recuerden, special. ¿Mm? Okay. Porque me están diciendo eh, special. And it's special. Okay. You know that's kind, it's kind of difficult, but uh, it is necessary. Student, school, special, space. No tenemos estas, uh, ¿qué? Estos sonidos, digamos, en, en el español, ¿verdad? La S con, con otro, ¿qué? Otro consonante. Ok. Y hey, para ir terminando, nos quedan pocos minutos, pero les vamos, les voy a explicar esto. I can't stand. Cuando decimos I can't stand significa no soporto. I can't stand. Okay. For example, I can't stand when people throw garbage Me faltó. on street. Porque pueden tirar basura donde sea. Okay. Yes, that's my opinion. I can't stand when people throw garbage on street. Okay. Or number two, I can't stand the noise. No soporto el ruido. Okay. Now you give me examples. Deme algunos ejemplos. Piensen ahorita. Tengo un minuto. Piensen. I can't stand. ¿Qué no soporto? I can't stand the noise the people when eat with their mouth open. Yeah. When they are smashing. Están masticando. Or, or are drinking soup. When they are drinking soup. And there's Something a like yes. the... that is like disturbing. Okay, good. What about if we listen to Rosita and then Elisa? I can't stand. I can't stand. I don't know. No. Okay, maybe I'm going to give you time. No problem. Elisa. And then Walter. I can stand. Okay. 
Ok, no, no. problem. Piensen en algo no. que les moleste, que les cae mal que alguien haga. It can be your neighbor, tu vecino. That, that's very common. Maybe a colleague, un colega, un compañero de trabajo. Your boss. Your kids, sus niños. Ok, that's very common. Ok, so Walter, what Los about chambrosos. you? Oh, ok, I can stand. Yeah. ¿Cómo se dice? Gossipers. In special, very special people in our company, in our family and friends. Yes. Eh, hay una serie yes. que se llama Gossip Girl. Gossip Girl. Okay. Uh, gossipers. Same. Okay, good. Walter and Jackie. Okay, I can say the motor. Uh, motor motorcycle. Ride. Motorcycle when the fast. When they pass by, when they pass, sobre pasa. Okay, another example. Thank you. Jackie. I'm hey, sorry, Jackie. teacher. I have a question. Gossipers is chismosos? Chambrosos. Okay, chambrosos. Okay, solo okay. gossip. Thank you. Solo gossip is el chisme. El chisme. Okay. Chambre. El chicle. Okay, so yeah, it's it. But Thank gossipers you. is the person who produces the gossip. Okay, Jackie. Um, I can stand the uh, ira, ¿cómo se dice? La ira, la enoja. Yeah. Ah, yes, ah. por cualquier cosita. Anger, anger. Uh, yeah, I anger. can stand en anger. Okay, thank you, very nice. We go now with Raquel and then Mardoqueo. Raquel, ready? Raquel, ok. Eh, Mardoqueo. Quien estén, estén eh, muted high. Ah, too loud. Yes. Loud. Loud music. Yes. Loud music. Un gran volumen. O sea, loud es ruidoso. Yes. yes. Estridente. Ok. Eh, Raquel, ready? Um, I can stand the people talk when... I talk to people talk about you. Oh. Que habla sobre ti? Yes. Oh, yes, 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 of course. That is something <laughs> special at backs and like palms. Okay, good. Thank you. Yeah. I'm going to check the dance, dance list and we say goodbye. Um, recuerden hacer las tareas siempre. Please, homeworks. Tomorrow yeah. is the last day. Mañana es el último día. Traten de hacerlas ahora si pueden. La de la unidad uno. Okay, Andres, I don't know if Andres is over there. I guess no at this moment. So, Carlos, hello there. Carlos. Okay, Carito, thank you. I'm here, teacher. Good, Edwin, thank you. Okay, Elisa. Present, teacher. Perfect, Stephanie. Good night. night. Present. Nice. Not ready. Uh, Gabriel? Hi, teacher. So, Jacqueline? Present teacher. Nice. Carlita? So. Present teacher. Good. Kenya? Thank you. Present teacher. Perfect. Luis? Present. Nice. Ardoqueo? Good night, teacher. Good night. Oscar? Present teacher. Okay, uh, Raquel. Rosa. Okay. Walter. Good night, teacher. Sorry. Okay. Walter. William. Hola, hola. Okay. And Wilfredo. Present teacher. Present teacher. Aquí okay. estoy, aquí estoy. Nice, nice. Okay, guys. See you tomorrow. Rest. They can say. Bye bye. Okay. Bye bye. See you later. Okay, good.
Okay, we're waiting for the rest of, well, the person who was going to be here. With the session. Okay. So, chicken. Okay, I guess that person is not going to be available for uh, tonight's session. Okay. Okay, so the today's topic was simple present negative statements and we have this activity that it is like um, the first letter or memo that a, a new employee is receiving and it contains the specification details and functions of the new job uh, she has got. So uh, the, the, enter the enterprise is Traverse Inc. And it says like that. For a better future, dear employee, welcome to Traverse Inc. Congratulations, you are now part of the Traverse family. Here's some information about your new job. Please read it carefully. Name, Glenda Dominic Sanchez. Job title, Junior Sales Manager. Key job duties. Have a meeting with your manager every week. Get in contact with customers. Answer clients' questions about our product. Take orders on the telephone. Call potential clients. Vacations, two weeks per year plus public holidays. Salary, $440 per month plus bonus. Good luck, Mark Travers, CFO. So, uh, you have read the sentences, say if they are true or false. So number one, Dominique speaks to clients in her new job. That's totally true. Number two, her salary is 100 per week. That's false because she earns $440. It means that she should earn $110 per week. Three, Dominique gets a yearly vacation. Well, actually she has two weeks per year, but uh, she also receives public holidays. So it is like um, for vacation that one per year. And four, she has to work on holidays. 
Well, actually, that is false. Since um, in the vacations details, it says two weeks per year plus public holidays. So she's free on holidays. Here we have a conversation between uh, two, two men. One is Ben and the other one is Jeff. So here we have the conversation says like this. Jeff, how are you doing? I want to ask you how many days a week do you work? Hey Ben, well, I work five days a week. And you? That's great. I work, I work four days, I work four weekdays and sometimes on Saturdays. Really? Saturdays? Do you work extra hours? And how much money do they pay you for extra hours? Ben says, yes, I work extra hours when there is too much work to do. Each extra hours is around $10. I see. Well, sometimes there is not much time, right? Absolutely. Then here we have two sentences. Circle the word that best completes the questions. Number one, how many hours a day do you work? Number two. How much do they pay per hour? Then we have how to use how many and how much. Well, here we have some examples of countable and uncountable nouns. For example, for how many, here we have for countable nouns, hours, days, weeks, years, and others. Number one, how many days a week do you rest? Number two. How many hours a day do you work? And here we have how much. How much for uncountable nouns, money, time, etc. Number one, how much money do they pay per extra hour? Number two, how much time do we have? 